Close your eyes. Wait, close your eyes. See that ring Oh, yeah. All right, there's your present. Can I help my eyes? Oh, oh my God! Oh my Open your eyes. God Almighty! Oh, my God! Oh, this is so good. Oh, so good. <laughs> God Almighty, give me a heart attack. <laughs> That's why I made you sit down. Oh. Sit back now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, I got here this morning. No. And Sammy, come on. They don't know Daddy's in the backyard, waiting for them, huh? You want to go outside? Come on. Come on, Major. Come on. Come on. <gasps> Who is that? <laughs> oh, Sammy remembers. Oh, you're so crazy. Oh, Look at him. Oh. He remembers. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, it'll take a few seconds. The award weighs a lot, so I'm sorry. The award weighs a lot. I think... Sorry ladies, you're not getting an award like that. Okay, thank you for the gift. I told you he weighs a lot. Hi. Did you say yes? Of course she loves him, she says. Now tell me, have you ever seen a pageant like that before? All right. Thank you. Abby, you can open it now. Sorry is living and breathing.
Well, to close our services this morning, uh, we have a special treat. Uh, Ken, if you would come up on stage, Sarah as well, please. They <laughs> love surprises. <laughs> well, we just have a, a, a special, we have a special little treat for you guys. We want to close the service uh, in a different way simply because it's Father's Day. As many of you know, Ken's son Keith was deployed to Iraq several months ago. Well, with the aid of technology, uh, we're going to close out our services this morning by allowing him to, uh, we're going to play a recording of him praying a blessing over us. So, sound as if you would. Seem kind of look at him drinking away. Look at that Bud Light. That's Bud Light, baby. Official sponsor of the Olympics. <laughs> 2011 Olympics. That's good. Look at everybody. Hey, make sure you get him. Then get her. There you go. Wait a minute. Pictures. Shelly! Shelly! Did not expect that. What the <laughs> heck is that?
Hola caballero, <laughs> it was a hero's welcome in Gretna. Two of our military's bravest paid a visit, spreading their message of inspiration and courage to local youths. KTV News Watch 7's Kyle Gravelin has the story. Gretna High School students bearing American flags lined the main entranceway Thursday. The patriotic presentation in place to welcome Sergeant Major Brad Casal, United States Marine Corps, and Taylor Morris, an explosive ordnance tech with the U.S. Navy. Two heroes, severely injured, fighting for our country. Deployed to Afghanistan, stepped on an IED, uh, blew off parts of all four limbs. Morris's equipment didn't detect that underground IED back in September 2012. Casal sustained gun and shrapnel wounds while protecting a fellow injured Marine in the Battle of Fallujah. But Morris and Casal overcame all odds and survived. Now they focus on our country's future, spreading a message of inspiration and courage. You face it every day in life. I mean, you're, you're not going to encounter and go through life without facing adversity. Facing and overcoming adversity, something Morris says can't always be done alone. You can wing it on your own or you can, you know, look up to somebody that, uh, you know, you kind of agree with the way they did things and, and try to follow that as best you can. Former Army Captain and now Nebraska Governor Dave Heineman also spoke at Thursday's event. These men willingly and women put their life on the line so we enjoy all the freedoms we have today. Sergeant Major Casal cracked a couple jokes but left students with some sage advice before departing the stage. If you just have two things, if you use two things, this and this, if you use your head and put your heart into it, you'll accomplish anything. And now it's up to those students to lead us into the future. Reporting in Gretna, Kyle Gravlin, KETV News Watch 7.